Trails closed because of wildlife attacks. At least four people have been bitten by a coyote in Greensboro now. This happened at Lake Brant Park, where animal control is trying to find the coyote or coyotes. But new at 11, WFMI News 2's Ben Smart talked with one of the victims who says his story should be a warning for you anywhere you go in nature. I'm the only one <clears throat> I'm aware of that has gotten away without getting bitten. Um, A terrifying testimonial from Greensboro mountain biker Derek Broach. One of at least six people attacked by a coyote on trails at Lake Brant Park in northern Greensboro. Super duper aggressive, not defensive at all. I mean, it was not defending itself, it was attacking. Wildlife officials say the cluster of coyote attacks happened Friday and Saturday. At least four people have actually been bitten. They have very strong teeth and jaws because uh, it just popped my tire, just boop, like nothing. On Sunday, animal control workers placed humane traps on the trails, knocked on doors, warning neighbors in nearby subdivisions, and placed these alarming signs to block off the trail. But as of Sunday night, the aggressive coyote or coyotes have not been caught. That worries Broach, who says the coyote was the size of a small German shepherd and weighs roughly 45 pounds. We're in nature and, you know, just because we're in Greensboro and all that, there is wildlife out here that can harm you, if not kill you. Broach says he was biking on the wild turkey trail when the coyote came out of nowhere. As soon as that thing saw me, it started running towards me and that was terrifying. Using his bike as a shield and wielding pepper spray. He started attacking me and trying to get around me. I'm moving my bike around to keep it in between me and it. You can see the scratch marks and puncture wounds on the tire. Once the coyote ran off, Broach made his way back to the main parking lot where others attacked were receiving medical treatment. It, you know, look, looked like a murder scene because there were three people uh, in triage getting treated for bites. He's not injured, but still very shaken. I was just survival mode trying to make sure that thing didn't get near me. A warning to watch for wildlife. Ben Smart, WFMY News 2. So what happens if you do come across a coyote? Well, Safety and Wellness Magazine wants you to remember to be smart. Here's what that means. First, you want to stop. Don't run. If you do, the coyote might chase after you. You want to make yourself look big. Put your hands over your head or pull your shirt or jacket up. The bigger you look, the scarier you are to the coyote. You want to announce yourself forcefully. Say, leave me alone. Repeat it if necessary. Now this lets the coyote know you're a threat, but it also lets people around you know you may be in trouble. And then you want to retreat. Back away slowly, but don't turn your back to the coyote. You want it, your eyes on him. Finally, teach your friends and neighbors about coyotes so they too can stay smart.